hello guys good morning and welcome to my channel my name is bestie i do poetry but today i'll be doing something different not so different anyway but a little different because i feel there is poetry also in sewing today i'll be teaching you guys and telling you guys how i started sewing in just two days and how I've been able to make all these clothes you see in display in less than one week. Yes, less than one week. I know you can do the same. It will save you a whole lot of money and time too. Because you won't have to, you know, wait for the tailor to get your clothes ready in two weeks when you can have it in just 30 minutes or less. So if you're interested in this, I think you should keep watching. For today, I'll be teaching you guys how I made my human dress. Yeah, that's I'm teaching you guys how I made it first. I would like you guys to remember that sewing is all about cutting the fabric. Yeah. So yin is all about cutting the fabric. So the moment you are able to cut the fabric perfectly, the dress is almost if not ready. Alright, so to do that first get two years of fabric. Two years or three, you know, depending on how tall you are, two years was enough for me can get two years depending on how tall or how big you are two years are perfectly okay for me yeah now cut the, the the piece the material into two into two equal parts one for the front part of the clothes and one for the back of the clothes for the two piece so you fold the two pieces into two equal parts and place together Place the two together that will be giving you four pieces in all now with your tape get the measurement of your length from your shoulder to your bust mark it on the fabric and rule with a chalk Get the measurement of your bust, mark it off, and remember to also mark two inches extra. That's for the sewing allowance. You would need it. Next, get the length of your waist and hips and also the length of you know how long you want the clothes to be. Yes, you should also get that and mark all these off. Mark it with your chalk. That's why you had your tailor's chalk. Okay. Who's 
gonna cook my food? Who's gonna scratch my back? Who's gonna cover me if I dare catch it cold? Never underestimate the strength of a woman. It is strong like a knife. Now the nice thing to do is to get the size of your waist and hip and hips rather and mark them too. Now a tip, remember to divide every size measurement by four. Divide every size measurement by four. Minus the length. You don't have to be dividing the length. But when it has to be with when it has to do with the size, the size, every size measurement has to be divided by four. Now, alright. When you get these things, you know, after you get these measurements, after you, you, you get the measurement of your of your of that you get the size of your waist and your hip and you mark them off the next thing you do is that you, you connect all the points that you've marked and trace them to form a shape yeah When you are done with that, you move to the top of the clothes that is from above the bust. Now you get the length of your shoulder to your hand. From your shoulder to your hand. After you get that, you trace it down slightly by removing an inch inward. Take it in by by an inch. That should be the, that's going to be the shape, the curve that would form your hand. Yes. After you do that, you get the measurement of your chest, of your shoulder to your chest. Get the measurement of your shoulder to your chest. Then move on to get the measurement of your shoulder and neck and trace together. And she was walking and I was watching every step and the move she was making. She is adoring, I am admiring her hips and her calves. Beauty is a natural thing, original thing and a mysterious thing. Rise up my voice and sing, I thank the Lord. You can see the cloth is almost formed. Can't you see the cloth is almost ready? So what next you do? You go ahead and, and cut from the line of the sewing allowance. 
don't cut from the line of your body measurement cut from the line of the sewing allowance so that you'll be able to sew this load perfectly and this load would you know fit into your body easily after you cut this is what we have this is what you have you have these measurements you have this in you have this pattern of this design on the two pieces you folded earlier remember one for the front and one for the back so what next do you do you sew together through the wrong side you just sew the pieces together through the wrong side and the work is finished <laughs> that's it that's how you cut and sew your kimono dress this is a finished this is a finished work so that's it for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any question or anything you don't you know understand please drop the question on the comment section and i would be sure to get back to you immediately if you found this video helpful please give me a like and don't forget to share please also subscribe to my channel and i'll upload you know more of these videos as i try out new things i'll, I'll make videos of them and i'll upload them here and together we would all go through this journey of sewing freedom <laughs> all right thanks for watching and bye